Hello everyone, this is Lyle. Dad is behind the camera, so Coaster Dad will not be in this video, but don't click away, I have a treat for you. Here we have the Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit. I told you we'd be doing lesson these, and we are, because we can kind of keep boxes. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this kit. Now, it says to follow this to organize it. But we have already done that beforehand because that would be the most boring video ever. Now we're just going to make the second most boring video ever where we show you everything that's in the kit. So the first thing that we will be building is a basic car. We will not be building it in this video but the next video because I just want to show you what all the parts are. So as you can see on that camera that is rolling. Okay, so we have these pieces where you can put some stuff into it. We have these. These can go in here. These. These can go into these types of stuff. These are little things where if you need to like get like something in one spot and something in the other, you can make it very flexible. Um, these are so you can have a combo of like these sticks and little holes in one thing. These are multi-colored, three long little things. These are, in my opinion, one of the most useful things. One, because there's a lot of them. And two, because this is how you connect two things together. For example, this and that. Ta-da. Okay. Whoa. These are used, so if you put one of these in here it doesn't fall out i'll explain that to you in another video these are these but curved these are gears so if you want to do something you can go like you can make a gear reduction i will be doing a video on gear reduction and also here's like a little snake gear thing now this is the framing so if you want to like build something you like use this stuff to frame it this is a weirder piece of framing. This is a ball bearing attached to a little thing. So you can have it roll. It rolls pretty well, actually. These ones are cool. So one side of it is made to go in here. And one side of it is made to go in something like that. So I use these with gear reductions a lot because they can still spin and it takes up a lot of space. So these are really useful. This is the brick. Without this brick, you cannot build a single robot. So this, if you lose this, you can't build anything. These are treads. You can connect them together and you can um, make stuff on these certain type of wheels and make like tanks. This is a touch sensor. So you can make it when you push a button, something happens. These are motors, and these are what spin the wheels, and these are the wheels. Now, here's where the treads come in handy. You wrap the treads around these, so it ends up making a little wheel, and then you can roll it across like a tank. Those are helpful. This is a gyro. Um, this is an ultrasonic sensor, so it like senses things, so it can see you. It's watching everything. Um, this is a color sensor, it can sense color, so like it would be like yellow or something. And then this is a smaller motor, so you can put this in here and then it'll spin when it's plugged in. So that's pretty much what you need to know about the kit. Um, it has a lot of different things on it, and like if I build like a little like model thing, I could put like this. This is not going to be what we're doing in the videos, but if you wanted to build something, you could go like this. I'm going to make it, I'm going to put it right here. This, this, and that. And then if you want, then you can go right here. That. Ta-da. Here it is very first thing that we made it's a children's toy so every week every Tuesday specifically we will be having a video where I teach you how to do some stuff with the kit 
and it'll be good to learn how to use the kit because we will be having these at the Coaster Dad Makerspace if we get the money. So please donate on Indiegogo. A link will be in the description. Subscribe, like, and I will see you next time.